Let's go get him again. What's going on with Azaro and all these put on flankers coming out of the woodworks? There's like several of them in the past couple of years that's just came out and got released, including this guy right here, Hot Pepper. Nice name. Now let's find out if this thing is half decent. Fragrance family, welcome to the Rope Joy channel. I'm your host, Mark. This series of Pop the Cherries, where I pop the cork on a full bottle purchase and give you my initial thoughts. I wore this scent on my skin as my scent of the day for a few days, including today. Now it's time to give you my thoughts before it goes into the vault for a full-fledged review. Now, before we get into the mean potatoes, I'd like to thank our sponsor of the day, FragranceX.com. I did want to take the time to thank them for beautiful hot pepper. And you can get a bottle of this too on their site. Actually, they got tons of Azaros, of course. Uh, you can check out Fragrance X, support me by utilizing my coupon code on their website, which is my YouTube handle, Robes08. And uh, you put that in their coupon section, you get 15% off on your purchase, including this one or anything else. You can go ham if you'd like. So let me introduce you to Azaro Pur Am. Um, hot pepper. This is supposed to be based on the chili pepper note from the house of Azaro. Now let's go under the hood and let's take a look at some stats on this one. Release date was back in 2018. The nose behind this is Philippe Romano. Major notes to my nose. Chili pepper is nowhere to be seen. It's pink pepper, cashmere, and lavender. So time to crack this one open again. Uh, just to remind you, it's my scent of the day. So I do have the dry down on my skin, but I want to remind myself of the introduction. So granted, when I bought these Azaros, I bought three of them in a row, an amber one, the leather one, which you guys are going to see those two and pop the cherry very soon, and this one. This was the one that was going to be left on the rack. So a chili pepper based scent. What do I get? Well, off the top, Azaro does what Azaro does. <laughs> they throw a bunch of sweetness to a spicy scent. So mostly I get, a, I get some sweetness here. Fruity with a juniper berry kick. Some woods, some muskiness, and a mild kick of spice. This is more of a pink pepper than a chili pepper. Think Spice Bomb-esque. Um, it really goes into that territory. The cashmere is, in my opinion, the primary note here from top to bottom, giving its warm, musky, ambery scent. I was hoping for a spicy chili pepper note, but never got it in the opening, nor in the dry down. So as far as the primary note in the marketing, this one is a fail. Now let's move on to the dry down. The dry down shows more of the same as the cashmere is your number one, and stays that way until the end. You get a good amount of lavender in this one um, from the transition from the opening to the heart and it will give its familiar clean concept. However, at times this smelled like a dryer sheet and when a bad lavender note shows up in an already bad fragrance um, and with the clean concept of the lavender, you know, like a dryer sheet with the synthetic sweetness in the opening, it started making hot peppers smell like a really artificial mess to me. It has a slight powdery take with the clean feeling too. And for some people that might not help the situation. It finishes with a smooth, warm, woody, musky backbone. So not much personality in the back end of this release. And um, unfortunately for me, it was kind of a disappointment. Now let's get into the revolver on this one where I talk about season, day, night, versatility, performance. Let's talk about seasons. Um, when can I wear this? Fall, spring, um, spring nights would work well, but uh, the season for it mostly would be fall. Day or night, I feel like this one's more of a nighttime scent, but you can wear it casually during the day. Versatility, I feel like it's fairly average. Um, think Spice Bomb, but not as good, pretty much. Um, it doesn't have much in the back end of the release either, so it, it loses a lot of edge. Uh, performance. This thing, longevity, was a little weak. Um, if you're comparing it to a spice bomb or something like that, five to seven hours 
and projection was below average. So a weak performer on my skin, unfortunately. So my final thoughts on hot pepper, a flanker of Azaro Puram. Overall hot pepper based on my taste was going to be the weakest of the three that I bought. I'm hoping the leather's better and I know the amber's better because I've smelt that one. I look forward to sharing my thoughts on those two, but this one today came up short. If you've been on my channel for a long time, you do know that I'm not a fan of the brand of Azaro, but Azaro put on a solid release uh, in its own right. I mean, I do need to do a full flight review on that one, but I am containing my excitement a little bit here for the other two, the amber and the leather, um, because I am a huge fan of the Puram line, but this one right here is showing me a great example that this is being a flanker of the Puram name, more of a cash grab with a catchy note in the name, a hot pepper and purple bottle. I don't know who decided purple goes with hot pepper. I don't see it. I don't, uh, red bottle, maybe? I don't know. Azaro keeps Cesaroing for me, which means they're cheap synthetic as a brand. And sometimes you need to just grow up from a brand like this and move on and kind of ignore everything that they release. Um, it just seems to me that a lot of their releases are just plain bad. And that's why they're always in bargain bins and they're always around $30, $20 in bargain bins. Hot pepper is a disappointment to my nose from the purple bottle, should be red, to the relaxed peppering take here. Um, you're using pick pink pepper, which is obviously a note du jour, way back when Spice Bomb made it super popular. Um, it's more of a pink pepper meets, almost like a little bit of a black pepper to me, not the bite from a chili pepper. The overall theme is sweet, spicy, and obviously taking a page from Spice Bomb, but more of an off brand of it, missing a good backbone and a strong spicy take. This one's a dud, in my opinion, and again, it's just a couple wearings. Again, I didn't put enough of a dent in this bottle, but Pop the Cherry is what it's about. It's an initial impression of a couple days. Now it goes into the vault. The true testing starts now. Now I'm done with hot pepper. Time for you guys to hit us up in the comments below. What do you think of it? Looking forward to seeing those comments below. And again, you can disagree with me. Say this is the next coming of Puram for Azaro. It's going to be a top seller for them. I don't think that's going to happen, but <laughs> you never know. Uh, but uh, yeah, definitely uh, give your take, good or bad. Love to see it. And as always, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your chili pepper fragrance wisely. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.